Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this, this morning, i like to capture my thoughts in a very interesting uh, way. It's a red light of I see. Now, in Acts chapter 16, there is a nice story going on over there. Now, Paul and Barnabas, in preaching, get to a particular city. And when they got to the city, the Bible said in that particular city, there was a lady there, um, and the Bible said that she had a spirit of divination. That means she could be able to divine things. She could see into the spirit. She can bring out revelations and all the, listen, and all the things that are associated with it. And the Bible said when she met Paul and Barnabas, now guess what she began to say? Number one, these are sons of the Most High God. Number two, sent to show us the way of salvation. Number three, everybody listen to them. These are sons of the Most High God sent to show us the way of salvation, everybody listened to them. Now, I, I, was, I was pretty impressed, you know, and because there are three things uh, almost every man of God needs. Number one, who sent you? You know, number two, your purpose. And then number three, the response of people. And this girl, with the spirit of divination, captured it all. It just one, one breath, boom, like that. I mean, I must be very honest with you. If I were... Paul and Barnabas, I'd have picked her up to be close to me and for her to become the chief prayer warrior. Because, man, that girl is gifted. You get it? But here is a subtle thing. The Bible said it was a spirit of divination. So that means it was not the Holy Ghost. And here's the thing. Everything she was saying was true. But the reality of the situation was that it wasn't the truth of God. It wasn't coming from God. And everything she was saying was true. But it was not coming from God. It was coming from somewhere else. It was coming from another spirit. It was coming from a false spirit. It was coming from something else apart from the spirit of God. The most interesting thing for me was everything she said was true. But the Bible said she continued this thing on a daily basis until Paul being grieved in his spirit, he turned and rebuked her. And that spirit left the girl. So here, a couple of principles that I want you to... Uh, number one, it's not everything they say which is true. That means that it comes from God. So sometimes there are people who may be very accurate. They may say things about you, but they are not operating the spirit of God. It is not the spirit of God. The Bible said that it was, it was not of God. And yet it was true. Paul's, who, the identity, their purpose, and the response of people. She named it all. Now, how would we know, or how did Paul know that this thing was, this, was not of God? The Bible says something was happening in the internal side of, of, of Paul. He was grieved in his spirit. He was troubled. There was a niggling feeling that something is not right. Something is not right. And the, it's very, very simple. The Bible says the Holy Spirit agrees with our spirit. So, the Holy Ghost, he works in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. So the Holy Ghost agrees. that There is an agreement in, in, in our spirit. Paul didn't have that agreement. And he was grieved. Even though what she was saying uh, seemed true, there was a niggling feeling in, in Paul. There was a niggling sense of, nah, something is not right. Learn to listen to that niggling feeling. Learn to, because sometimes, you know, wolves come in sheep's clothing. And sometimes they might say the things that may catch your attention, but in the end, you become a captive to their whims and their caprices. And as a result of that, you become a slave to the things that they want you to do. And as a result of that, and sometimes they'll hit you with the fear factor and all these other things. Listen and listen very carefully. In these times in which we live, the Bible calls it perilous times. And most of the time, you, you realize that people come with all sorts of things, and there are ways in which you need to investigate them. Listen to your, to your inner man. Listen to your inner spirit. 
and learn to train your inner spirit in such a way that you can be discerning. And here is the, uh, there are a couple of principles when it comes to discernment. I'll give you four different levels of discernment. Number one, by the word. Judge what people say by the word. Because the Bible says, for the word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of a soul and the spirit, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the human heart. Gauge what they're saying. Measure it by what the word says. Number two, the Holy Spirit, that is depending, which is getting the gift, praying for the gift of discernment, so that you can be able to see who is talking or who is not talking. Now you'll be able to see whether this is God or not. So you pray for the gift. Number three, it is, I, I'll call it, uh, watch, uh, be vigilant, watch by their fruits. You will know them. The people of Gadara, by watching the Gadarene demoniac, his activities and his actions, they were able to tell that this is a wrong spirit. And then the last one is by the, is by the disquiet within you. It's the trouble in your spirit, the, the grief in your spirit. And, and I'll call it the grief factor. When they're ministering and then you realize that something is not sitting right. Something is bothering. Like Paul, the Bible said, and Paul being grieved in his spirit. So guess what? Your spiritual grief in you, that is in disagreement with what is happening. That is not at rest with what is happening. That is a little bit questioning of what is happening can be an indication that something is wrong somewhere. So sometimes listen to the inner man and do not be, do not be deceived by um, all these uh, um, things that go on. You know, sometimes truth and falsehood may run together. And sometimes uh, for a long while, you might think the falsehood is the truth, but with time. And I, and I always tell people, the Bible asks us to be very careful because sometimes, really, really, sometimes, the sources being operated from are all the wrong things. See you later.